Hi guys, welcome. It's Tanya Rink Chic, and today I'm outside. Today I'm going to do a review on a chimney starter that I got from Walmart for $9.99 and this Americana grill that was on sale for like $37. I think they're originally $60, bucks, but it was on sale for $37. It was already set up. And I'm used to having like a big industrial grill that you get from Sam's. One of those professional grills. Had it for several years and it finally rusted out. I stopped taking care of it so it went to the dump. So in the last few years I haven't really grilled. Uh, this grill over here, Hubby made it from the bricks left over from our house. That was made, um, our house was built like 20 years ago. So he made this grill. So after we got rid of the other grill we've been just using this one and so when I saw this little fun grill it was easy I could put it in my car and bring it home I said I'll just you know I'm going to take it it's a good price so today I'm going to do a review on I'm all over the place I'm going to do, do a review on the chimney starter and I'm going to tell you, I just used it a few minutes ago, and I cooked some uh, hot dogs and hamburgers, but I lost the footage from uh, my other camera. So I'm going to do it again because I need some more coals on the grill for, um, for my chicken. So I'm going to give you a demonstration. I know most of you guys have already used one, but this is for those especially ladies you know it's not as uh, it's a very easy and uh, gentle way of grilling there was no lighter fluid no big flames so I'm gonna crumple up two pieces of uh, printer paper excuse my appearance I had walked this morning and then I decided I'm gonna do this do this video I'm crumpling up this piece of paper. And I already have my charcoal. I could use a few more bricks charcoal in there like that much because I already have some on the grill but that's good and they recommend you like put it like you know at least leave a, an inch or two of a space there. Okay, so I'm going to light it. Light the paper. Y'all see that? So I'm going to let that work. And the last time, it took maybe 15 minutes. And then about 20 minutes, you start seeing the flames. It, it smoked for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, it's already flaming up here. Okay, so I'm going to come back. When, when I'm going to dump it onto the grill, put the chicken on, I'll come back. Okay? Okay guys, I'm going to take my peppers off of the grill. The grill did well cooking my, I had two Italian sausages and two hamburgers. It did a great job cooking those. Then I just I sliced up some peppers. Let's see if you can see that. And so I put those on there. 
the grill's great and as far as the chimney starter, love it. In all of my years, I never used one before. And so I think I will always. I will always use one. So it's ready to go. You see the flames in there and the coals are ashy. So I feel very safe using it. And I'm going to put all the coals on one side and I'm going to have a direct heat side and an indirect heat side for the chicken. The chicken's been marinating in fresh lemon. I did a citrus marinade, fresh lemon and uh, some Memphis barbecue seasoning. for about 10 minutes and I'll come back and I'll put the chicken on. But for right now, the chimney starter, yes, that gets a 10. Okay guys, the grill has heated up and I'm going to put some chicken thighs on here. And I have one drumstick. What you want to hear and I oil the uh, chicken I like to put the skin side down let this like brown get some color on it first and then I'll put it over to the uh, indirect heat side so about another about 20 minutes like this 20 minutes the other way all right now I'll be back thanks for rolling with me hang on with me okay guys the chicken has some good color on it so I just flipped it and um, the grill's working fine. The grill's working fine so far. So I, there's nothing wrong with the grill. Now it's all about the chef. So I definitely give this Americana grill a thumbs up. And I think I can have it for several years if I take care of it. It's easy to lift. You can put it in your garage once you're done with it these legs fold up and so yeah it's good so I'll come back when everything's done and I also want to mention that these thighs are the are part of that 10 pound bag of chicken thighs that I got on my $10 weekly grocery haul grocery challenge and so if you haven't seen that video, check that out. It's the $10 weekly grocery challenge. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, the chicken's cooking beautifully. I just want to show you, this is the grill. It's, and it was 37, excuse me, bugs all over the place, 37.44. I got it at Walmart. And yes, the Americana it's called Americana Grill. And then for the chimney starter, it's the Expert Grill chimney starter, and this was $9.99. All 
right, and I'll come back when the chicken's done. Okay, guys, thanks so much for rolling with me. Now, the, the smaller thighs, they're all done. I took the temperature. And once it gets up to 165, it's done. So it's nicely browned. These are larger pieces. They need to... I think they need to cook a few more minutes. All right, so all right, so oh, this is driving me crazy. Okay, so the chimney starter got a ten, the grill got a ten. I'm loving it. It's easy, and I do recommend it, especially you know for the home user. And for, and I'm going to like for ladies because it's easy to deal with, you know, and it has a lot of cooking surface. So, yeah. So, I want to thank you guys so much for rolling with me today. And I uh, appreciate your support. Any new people, I welcome you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your support. So I'll see you in my next video. And let's keep rolling. Bye.